Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Longworth, I want to uh, welcome you all to this, on this occasion, when I think one of the most uh, notable improvements in the White House is being made through the generosity of some of those who are descended from the firm which originally built this marble piece, and also uh, the marble industry of the state of New York, who've also participated in this very generous gift to the White House. It's very appropriate, I think, that we have Mrs. Longworth here, who was, though she is somewhat reluctant to admit it, was present uh, during the 1902 <laughs> renovation as a very small girl, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, who uh, shared her father's great interest in uh, restoring the White House to, in the phrase he used, its original simplicity and in maintaining its original purpose. Theodore Roosevelt and Thomas Jefferson were both the men of extraordinary versatility and uh, combined uh, a great many talents. In fact, uh, I would suppose that uh, they covered a wider range than any of the presidents of our history. And with the exception of a few extraordinary Americans, such as Benjamin Franklin, more than any other Americans of our history. And it is interesting that uh, Theodore Roosevelt, whose uh, vitality, whose uh, vigor, were such pronounced qualities and such obvious qualities in his administration, was also with Thomas Jefferson, the President of the United States, most concerned with restoring the White House, with the architecture of the White House, with maintaining the spirit of the White House. This uh, distinguished mantle, which bears the prayer, is a, a work with which he had a good deal to do with. And most particularly, of course, and most noticeable, are the two uh, buffalo heads, which were originally lions, but which he felt should be bison, because they were, of course, uh, a distinguished uh, product of our soil. The original mantle was yellowed and uh, tarnished by age, and uh, therefore, when the White House was restored, a plain mantle was put here. I think this is much more beautiful, much more appropriate. It reminds us of a distinguished president and also contributes materially to the restoration of the White House to its original spirit. So I want to express my thanks to the successors of the firm of McKim, Mead, and White, who participated and, uh, in this originally, which is now Steinman, Kane, and White, and also the Marble Industry Board of New York for their participation, and also the men who carved marble, which is not very easy. I wonder if they're here. We'd like to have them uh, step forward because that's an uh, extraordinarily creative piece of work. Why don't you come over a little more and stand over here? You both did it. This is, what's your name? Alex Salviolo. Salviolo, Miss Longworth. How do you do? Your name? What's your name? Mr. Ratty, Mr. Salviolo. Somebody told me that you're about the only two men around who can do this work, so we want to take good care of you. Uh, in any case, we're delighted to participate, and perhaps Mrs. Longworth would uh, just say a word. <laughs> 